day. It's the passage from one journey to the next. Right now we're celebrating our uh, culmination of our graduation. It's been a two-year experience with the Heinz Fellows. Very demanding, a lot of hours put in, a lot of studying, and finally we're gonna walk across that stage. Working at Westinghouse High School, making a difference in the lives of uh, several African-American uh, males and females here in Pittsburgh, at-risk youth. One of the greatest places in the world to actually learn your craft. I mean, it just throws you right into it at one time, but I think you develop more um, we're kind of thrown into the fire. I think the kids benefit just having us there every day, having African-American males in the school that they can look at and consistently see on a daily basis. I have very similar backgrounds to them. I can relate to them, I understood them. I think one problem that they have uh, in their communities, in their own families and things like that, is that uh, they don't have enough positive role models who are males in their lives. Every student should have somebody in the building that looks similar to them and that they know immediately that they can relate to and they can go to to uh, in, handle any problem. They actually gained someone they actually could, could trust. It took a little while to actually develop those relationships, but with time, we were able to actually like come together and get some things accomplished. Being a mentor was, it, it, it was both demanding and it was also very rewarding. Kids who, who you know, not knowing what they want to do with themselves in their life and uh, being able to affect that change it within them, it was probably the biggest uh, accomplishment that I've had. A lot of the children that I mentor were like my sons now. I still keep in contact with them. As a mentor, one of the things that you need to be is consistent, and I think we were able to do that just by coming into the building every day and um, supporting the students that we worked with. It wasn't a nine to five job, you know, a lot of early mornings, a lot of after school, you know, taking them out on field trips and just, you know, really connecting with them, letting them know there's really someone out here that cares about them. These students, as far as with self-esteem and self-identity, you know, they're not proud of who they are. And that's one of the things that I was trying to instill in the kids, you should be proud of who you are, where you come from. When you step away for a second and they're just saying, hey man, you know, you really helped me in this area. It takes time though, it does, it's an investment. The next eight graduates are proud members of the Heinz Fellow Program. Each of whom served as a mentor in Westinghouse High School for two years while completing a master's degree program in secondary education in the School of Education. This collaborative effort was fully supported by the Heinz Endowments. I teach English, I love English, I love writing. A lot of our kids aren't prepared for college right now. And that's one thing I kind of want to focus on, uh, helping our kids. We're just trying, we're trying to get up to this point now and then we'll see what's on the table after that. But I really like Pittsburgh. People have been, have been great. The university has been fantastic and the Heinz Endowments have supported me all the way. So um, I'm definitely looking to, um, to work here if it's a possibility.